Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's going to be all about working into our backs, and we're going to start this practice in wide-legged child's pose. So go ahead and meet me on your mat, your most beautiful expression of wide-legged child's pose. Bringing those knees to the outside edges of the mat. Toes come towards each other, and then we send those hips back. Walk the hands forward. And you can bring that right ear to rest on the mat. If it feels good, you can always just rest on your forehead. And we're just gonna come here and just start with some nice long inhales and exhales. Just tapping into how we feel. What's going on today? These arms extended should feel really nice on the shoulders after yesterday's workout. Let's go ahead and come to the left cheek. Take one more round of breath here. And then we're going to bring our gaze forward to our hands. And on an inhale, we lift up, rounding through the spine here. We can bring these knees into the middle of the mat. Coming in for a little baby up dog here. And back into our child's pose. So we're going to do this a few times. Getting a little more exaggerated each time. Inhale, we lift. Big round through the spine. Little baby up dog. Maybe lifting the thighs this time. Back into child's pose. Beautiful forehead kisses the mat. Inhale, we rise and we round. And on the exhale, Exhale, we come into up dog and back into child's pose. Oh, yeah, forehead kisses the mat. In breath brings us up, rounds us forward. Unfurl into our up dog and push back. Child's pose. Inhale, we roll up. Coming back into our up dog, child's pose. I'm gonna do this one more time. Inhale up and round, unfurl up dog, child's pose. Beautiful. Inhale, we'll come up and we'll come forward. You can come through a sphinx, or you can just come all the way down to your belly, bringing the hands to the outside edges of the mat. Inhale, we lift, cobra, look forward. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we lift. And fold. Inhale, lift. And fold. Inhale, lift, and fold one more time, maybe coming all the way up into seal by straightening the arms. Exhale, fold, yes. Beautiful, take the arms into a T-shape here. We're gonna get a little shoulder stretch on, so using this right leg to kick over, maybe using that right hand to help push you. Right foot's on the mat. We're stretching on this left shoulder here. And we're breathing. We are not holding or clenching the breath. 
We are allowing the energy to move. One more round of breath here. And we come back to center, taking the arms back into our T and kicking over, coming on to that right shoulder. So our left foot is on the ground now. And we're coming back to the breath, allowing the energy to move. One more round of breath here. And we'll come back around on our bellies. We're gonna do Cobra again. So hands under the shoulders this time. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, maybe try no hands this time. Exhale, fold. Push back, child's pose. Hands out front. Round of breath. Rise up. Tucking the toes, coming forward through a plank, sending the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Once you get there, you can go ahead and pedal your feet, getting a nice stretch here. Take it slow. We're not in any kind of a hurry here. Nice, steady breath. Maybe taking a big bend in the knees, stretching through them shoulders. Just feeling around to find what your body is calling for today. Beautiful job. We're going to come up onto the tiptoes and we're going to slowly walk to the top of the mat on the tiptoes. Coming into a forward fold. If you want to play on the tiptoes, be my guest. Otherwise, we're just hanging rag doll style. Grabbing the opposite elbows, taking a nice sway left or right here. And into the breath, meeting yourself where you are here. Knowing tomorrow is another mild, stretchy day. You've got this. Inhale, half lift, nice long length on. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we're going to peel all the way up to standing. Rolling the shoulder blades down the back body. Head and neck, peel up last. Palms facing forward. Big smile on our face. Mm. Inhale, the arms up. 
cactus those arms open, maybe taking a slight back bend here. And back up. And back down into cactus, maybe slight back bend. Back up. One more time, cactus those arms. Back up, hands overhead. Slicing through the sky, forward fold. Half lift. Plant the hands, step the feet back, lower down knees, chest, chin, roll into our cobra, and everybody meets back in our downward facing dog. Left foot plants, right foot sweeps up, three leg dog. Roll it forward and step in between the hands. Lower down that back knee. You can keep the toes tucked. Inhale, we rise. Now we're really wanting to feel into the hip flexor here. So we're trying to open up more on this left side, more so than this right side. So to do that, I always love to bring my hand to the booty of the hip flexor I'm trying to stretch, right? So my left hand's coming and giving it a nice little push. At the same time, my right hand's pulling on this right knee to pull it back. Understand? So we're getting this nice stretch here by lift and then this push and pull action. We breathe. If it feels good, inhale to rise. And the more you dig through that left heel, the deeper the hip flexor stretch will be. And that's what we're kind of focused on right this second. Big in breath and out breath here. Beautiful. Keep pulling that left hip forward. Inhale now. We're going to take the arms up and overhead. And we're going to take those cactus arms. Big smiles. Back up. Cactus arms, back up, one more time. Open up through that chest, oh, beautiful. Frame the foot, step back plank. You can do knees, chest, chin, or you can push forward chaturanga, lower down, up dog. Everybody meets, downward facing dog. Let's just take a round of breath here. We're not in any kind of a hurry. We never hurry back work. That's just something that we don't do around here. We want to work our backs, but we do not want to create problems. So going slow and controlled is the best way for me. Right foot plants, left foot sweeps up. Three leg dog. Roll it forward and step it in between the hands. Lower down that back knee, but keep those toes tucked. And on an inhale, we rise up, arms up and overhead. And now we can bring the hands down, left hand, left knee, right hand on our booty to push and pull action here. Nice and tall through the upper body. Big rounds of breath here. On an inhale, we'll rise up, hands overhead. Digging through that right heel now to deepen this stretch in this right leg. And let's take those cactus arms. Oh, yes. Back up. Cactus. Back up. Cactus. Oh, beautiful. Frame the foot, step back, plank, look forward, push forward, lower down, push up, up dog. Let's all meet in down dog. I'm just going to do some spinal waves here, just to feel into that low back. If you've never done them with me, you're in for a treat. So you see my knees are bent. This is the way I like to start them. We push, roll. 
through a plank. We bend through the knees, we arc through the spine, and we take our gaze forward. We send the hips up and back. Here we go. Round forward. Bend through the knees, arc through the spine, take the gaze forward, up and back. One more time. Roll forward. Bend through the knees, arc through the spine, gazes forward, push it all the way up and back. <laughs> I love spinal waves. You can do a few of those if you feel good with it. Otherwise, we're just going to roll forward, lower all the way down. Reach around for that left foot, pull it towards the thigh. And let's grab for this right foot, pull it towards the booty here. Breathe, coming back to that breath. Beautiful, we're gonna grab for that left foot again. We can bring this right arm out in front. If it feels good, you can kick into that left hand to come up in a little half bow pose here. Gazes forward. Breathe. And slowly we release that leg back down and then release that ankle. Let's go for the other side. Reach around for that right foot. Left hand goes out front, and on an inhale, we can kick into that foot to lift, if it feels good for us here. Breathing. And slowly we release and release the ankle. We're going to go ahead and bring the hands into a triangle shape. Forehead goes into that triangle, and we're just going to shift the hips left to right here, a little rocking action, releasing through that lower back. And we're going to try for full bow. If you don't want to do full bow, you can do what we just did, half sides. If you want to grab a strap, you can. You're just going to have to have something that grabs your feet. I'm not really sure how to explain how to use the strap unless it's a like a resistance band. And if it is a resistance band, you wrap it around the feet and then you pull at it. So it's a little bit awkward because we have this reverse grip on the feet when we do this. You don't have to. You can come this way, but either way. Wherever you are, holding them ankles, calves, feet, whatever you like to hold here. On an inhale, we lift. We breathe. If you want to rock, you can, but we're just going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, <sighs> release, go ahead, rock those hips side to side, <sighs> really good job, that's everyone's favorite pose, I just know it, <laughs> we're going to come around and lay on our bellies here, if you want to rock and roll, this is your chance, and it should feel really good on that back right now to get that spinal massage in. So just take this. That inner playfulness is inside of every one of us. And the moment that we tap into it, magic happens. Okay, we're coming in for our bicycles. So we got these. We got one more day of these, and then we get to switch it up again. Interlace the hands behind the head, elbows out, 
bringing them legs parallel. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, hug the knees. Big hug. Big, big hug. Release through that back here. Feel that back. Bringing the arms into a T. We already have the knees hugged into the chest. We're going to drop them over towards the left. Gaze goes towards that right hand. If it feels good, you can bring this left hand to the right knee. Breathe. Oh, yes. Marvelous, marvelous job. Working on the back is so beneficial for our postures, for our core, just for our mobility in general. We want a healthy, happy back. What brought me to yoga was my back. And after about eight or nine months of yoga, my back pain was gone. The only time that my back hurts now is when I work it out. And I really believe that that's the way we can all be if we put in the discipline to show up every day. Creating the habit is the hardest part. But once you're addicted, there's no stopping you. One more round of breath on this side. And we allow an inhale to bring us back to center. Allow those knees to drop over towards the right. Gaze goes towards the left. Yes. If you want to bring that right hand to that left knee, be my guest. back through the breath. On an inhale, we'll come back to center. Big hug of those knees again. Mm. We're going to all meet in a comfortable seat. And go ahead and bring your hands to your heart here. Mm. Let's say some affirmations. I radiate love. I radiate love. Love is attracted to me. Love is attracted to me. I am light. I am light. <clears throat> Noticing how those words make you feel. Let's take all this love and send it out. Big open arms. All the love to the world. All the love to the universe and to all beings around us. Hands to heart center. May all beings be happy and free.
including you. Namaste. Mm, my love goes to you. Please do comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know how it's going for you. Love to hear from you guys. Have a great rest of your day.